Target locked. Today's target is Cyrus the Conqueror. He's a magic damage dealing defender for the Esotericist faction. With master over the skeleton army, Cyrus vows to reclaim all that was lost. Here is a stat breakdown for Cyrus and how he compares to other defenders in the game. His attack being the fourth highest and his HP pool being rather impressive as well. His defenses of magic resist, however, are average and low, but is he is able to counter that with the use of his summons. Cyrus's Lord skill increases faction allies' basic attributes by 15% and reduces faction allies' skill costs by 25%. When an ally is defeated or retreats, increases the damage of other faction allies by 25% for 8 seconds. This effect can be triggered one time every 12 seconds. Cyrus's talent immediately summons one skeleton warrior within two tiles ahead when deployed. A skeleton warrior is a summoned unit that possesses significant portions of the summoner hero's attributes and able to attack and block one enemy. Cyrus's basic attack deals 100% AoE damage to multiple enemies in range. With max skill ups, this can be increased by an additional 20%. Cyrus's ultimate Legion of the Dead is a manually activated ultimate with a rage cost of 650, and upon deployment he starts with 300. It summons one skeleton fighter within two tiles ahead, and increases their and the hero's damage by 100% and attack speed by 60 for 10 seconds. Skeleton Fighter is a summon unit that possesses a few of the summoner's hero's attributes, able to attack and block one enemy. With max skill ups, you can increase the damage by an additional 50%, increase the attack speed plus 40, and reduce the skill cost by 100. Cyrus's first passive, Lord of the Undead, 40% of incoming damage will be absorbed by the hero's summons. When the hero receives fatal damage, one of the summons will be sacrificed to resist the damage. With max skill ups, you can increase the damage taken by summons by an additional 20%. Cyrus's second passive, King's Wrath, when the HP of the hero summoned is below 50%, increases his attack speed by 60 and damage by 30%. With max skill ups, you increase the attack speed by an additional 40 and increase the damage by 20%. Cyrus's first awakening, when summoning Skeleton Fighter, there is a 25% chance to summon a Skeleton Warrior instead. His second awakening increases his attack by 300 and increases faction allies' penetration by 5%. His third awakening summons one extra skeleton fighter when deployed. His fourth awakening increases his automatic rage regen plus 1. And his fifth awakening, upon death or retreat, summons one skeleton fighter. Cyrus is able to spawn fodder in front of him to slow down attackers and take some of the damage intended for him, even if they get past them. His summons gain a portion of his stats, so whether you focus more on damage or pure damage sponge, his summons will adjust accordingly. Upon meeting his stat requirements, whether you want to go HP percentage, defense percentage, main stats for tankiness, or hybrid bruiser with attack percentage, crit rate percentage, and crit damage percentage, the Guardian set will allow him early game to sustain on the field longer. Mid game, the Wisdom set would amp up his damage considerably with his rather quick ultimate casts, and late game, he would stack up Soul All Bound Arcana very quickly. Early game artifacts, the Keen Wisdom would augment his damage for himself and his summons considerably, but if you're wanting to focus more on his sustain on the field, mid game could transition to Heart of Thorn, or more preferably a Tuning Crystal as soon as possible for some decent AoE damage based off his HP and periodic heals to keep him on the field. As an Esotericist Lord, Cyrus is great for augmenting his faction, and his own summons will proc the boost of overall damage to all faction allies in battle upon their deaths. He is great at any content that would want to hold enemies at bay, or at least slow them down from hitting an objective himself or the rest of his team. Thank you for watching this Watcher of Realms Hero Spotlight. If you like what you see, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I am Lieutenant Sheik, and this target has been destroyed. <laughs>